Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to the week that was the catch up. It's Sunday, March the 5th. And finally, it stopped raining long enough for me to do a video. Yes, it's been pretty much intense rain all day. And having a metal roof doesn't help, so it makes it very noisy to record a video. So, my week that was, I have some happy mail acquisitions, a couple of finished objects, and a whip to show you. Yes, surprise, surprise, a whip. So I'll start with my Happy Mail. Let's get started. I received a lovely parcel from Colleen in South Australia. She sent me a gift just because. And I have taken things out of there because there's quite a bit in there as far as patterns go. So she has sent me some... Um, I hope I pronounced it correctly, Shetskis patterns and um, little booklets. And first of all, there is, I probably need glasses. Sorry, guys. Bright Shine Cushion Simi Studio. I really like this. This is done in a bulky weight yarn. Um, I think that's really cool. A little different. That was pattern book number one. Then pattern book number two, there are some amigurumis in here that I really like. First of all, Trico Triceratops. He will be going on the amigurumi wall list for the year. I think he will be someone I would like to make. He's very cute. This one's cute too, Finn the Dodo. He looks quite big. I have to check out the yarns. They're all... Shepsky's yarns they use but you can always look at yarn sub and find a substitute he's very different then you have woodland friends first of all there is a bunny Ta -da! your basic bunny and then there is the bear he's quite cute and then finally there's a lovey pattern bunny best friend and now I look at it, Colleen, I think you've sent me this one before. I'll have to check my patterns out. And if I do have to, I might put this new one in a giveaway. I hope you don't mind. But yeah, I think you've sent me this one before. Also, it was a great pattern book. Now, I saw this when I was on holidays in Yapoon. And it was quite expensive. I didn't get it. It is cool knitting and it's these different amigurumis you can knit it's a women's weekly book and there's some like some basic body types and then you just embellish and make a different animal i really like the penguin but yeah i do have a knitted amigurumi on the go it's a forgotten whip i started it last year and it was proving to be a little bit more difficult and um, testing my techniques so it got put aside but it might be a whip I have to finish because I haven't decided to frog it I did too much of it also in the happy mail she sent me some lovely teas there is pure peppermint tea which is Reeves's favorite there is um, I need glasses I don't know why I don't just leave them on lemon ginger and manuka honey that would be things favorite and then there is um, Earl Grey English breakfast and Darjeeling which would be mine they're mine and I don't think I've ever tried Darjeeling to be honest so I might have to give that a go because I do enjoy tea now also she always sends me some lovely little motions pouch look at this one isn't this cute lovely and bright and pretty and I've taken him out of there. He was inside this little organza bag. Inside the pouch is a stitch marker. And it is... Dun, 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 dun. A polar bear. Dun, dun, dun. Now I see... There's a little witch on a broom stitch marker, which is my stitch markers I give sometimes give out 
to different people I have little stitch markers very similar to this so there you go a polar bear stitch marker I'm gonna have to come up with an idea for my stitch markers so that I can hang them and display some I've got some really nice ones and I don't just like keeping them in a tin or a, a, a container hidden away now my next item is my acquisition this came about because a lot of um, Yarny people are doing the Amigurumi book tag and I only have one Amigurumi book I don't have many patterns at all and that was from Janice in Victoria hi Janice she gave me that and I have made a couple of things out of it I have got my eye on another thing that I might like to make out of it but I was watching Michelle at Michelle's Makery in New Zealand and she did the Amigurumi book tag and she had a book that sparked my interest and it turns out it was not for sale at our um, local spotlight. Full price was $37 and I had a 40% off voucher. I often forget to use them. But yesterday Reeves and I were out shopping and he was in the shop near Spotlight. So I thought I'd duck in and see. And I bought this book. So I got 40% off it. Here it is. Snuggle and play. Isn't it gorgeous? Now what it is is with every little amigurumi toy there is a lobby you can make there are lots of different blanket shapes patterns in there and um, yeah I really like it I think I would like to make an amigurumi then make the lobby because I do like to make lobbies there's a great one in here of a cat and I think that might be my first because I really do like it not that I make cat amigurumis often because I often get the face wrong I make them look like mean cats but there you go snuggle and play it is an awesome amigurumi book and I'm glad I watched Michelle's Macri to discover it so on to my finished objects first of all I've made another one cup tea cozy because I have a um, store craft date coming up for my charity store that I have for Emma's Quest and I made a little pumpkin tea cozy for a one cup pot. I've been just making one cup tea cozies. Um, this is all in pure wool. It's in um, Spotlight Marvel Four Seasons. 100% Australian wool, pure wool. And it's turned out really cute. And it is basically my pattern. Which brings me to, I am going to be releasing a free pattern on my hopefully in my Facebook group for a one cup tea cozy pattern it's knitted of course but yeah um, keep an eye out for that video when I decide I will release it as a free pattern to my Facebook group and then I might put it for sale or it, I think I put it for sale on um, my Kofi for a dollar because it's a supplement to my um, gift of love tea cozy but it's for a one pot size and yeah, the dollar you pay for it will go to Emma's Quest as a fundraiser if you're not part of the Facebook group. So that was that. It's just basic. The colours are orange and green. They don't. They have colour numbers. They don't have names. Talking about amigurumis before, my first amigurumi, sorry, for March is made. And here he is. Ta -da! I have made... He is called Travel Hour Plush. This was recommended to me by my friend Ulia. She has Oswald on Instagram who appears all over the place. I put a link to the Instagram for Oswald. He's a traveling owl. He's been around quite a bit. But I made this one. I put it on a key ring as a backpack buddy. I may make some more for the charity store. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. And he is a travel owl. You can actually make a little passport and take him around with you. But yeah, it's a great little pattern and I do like it. And it is a great way to use up some scrap yarn. That's just Spotlight's um, USA style four weight yarn. The only thing I did different was for the whites of the eyes, they just cut out felt. But I actually crocheted circles. I wanted it to be as much crochet for Amigurumi Wars as it could be but it is a little free pattern my first one for March so I'll just pause it and get ready for the next one 
There you go. Yes, I am modelling a hat. For those who have been following me for a while, you know I don't rock a hat and I don't like to mould them. But this is for Bod Appa Hat Appaloosa. I knew if I said it slowly I wouldn't get it right. Anyway, this is this week's pattern and tutorial. I have forgotten the name of it. Easy to crochet something. There will be a link to the tutorial, Bag of Days tutorial, in the description below. It is a full weight pattern. And yeah, I actually like the way it turned out. And I have tried to do it in the colours for Zeta's Calendar Cow. Even though it's been raining, it's quite humid. So for the hat, which looks really great, what I did was this Ferris wheel, which was also sent to me by Colleen, there's 49 grams left out of an 85 gram ball, so that's how much I used. I was looking through my stock with Reeves at the different colours I had available to do set as calendar cow and he picked this and I said to him for a four weight it's really quite thin it's like an eight ply so then he suggested orange eight ply together with this which gave me a really good four weight so I held this with a, a bright orange eight ply and I got this amazing colour effect and I really like it. It's a great pattern. Oh, her tutorials are just so easy to follow. And yeah, you get to try out a few different skills. Front post um, crochet, single crochet, back loop crochet. So it's a really good little crochet hat. This it, yarn is called Pink Marmalade. And by putting the orange with it, as Reeves said, it brightened it up a bit to match as close as I can to Zeta's Calendar Cow without actually buying yarn it came out of my stock so I was really happy with that now I have to pause it again my whip <laughs> yes I don't show whips often mainly because I jinx myself and they go wrong but I have been doing this one since early last year and I would like to get it finished by the end of March so I've been doing it at night in downtime when I'm watching TV or like tonight we'll be up about one o'clock watching the Grand Prix first for the season and I like to have something easy because I get distracted by the television especially Grand Prix the race so here it is this is Reeb's blanket I have been making where my little dog Scotty dog stitch marker is is where I last showed it and I have been um, just adding to it I was using all my dark blue and grey scraps but now that it's got almost to the end and big it is actually taking 100 skein balls and it is eight ply three weight dk weight marvel spotlight yarn and it's just something he wanted to throw around but he did want a queen size so when it's finished i will get him to hold it up he is six foot three you will see that part of him he doesn't like being on youtube <laughs> But yes, he will hold it up and show it to you guys. But I'm trying desperately to try and get it finished by March. It's just one of those whips I've now decided I need to finish. So my notes. Do I have notes? Yes, I do. So in summary, I didn't get a lot done this week. Just a few things, nothing major. I am still knitting quite a big mystery knitting project that is definitely testing my skills my 100 day project is well and way underway I'll do a separate video for that when I reach a like day 14 or something and show you what I'm up to but yes life has been busy with all the rain we had today that lasted for ages I did some tidy up next Sunday will be my first um, craft fair market day and where I will have my charity store for Emma's Quest. I went through all my tubs of things I will be taking down. Some of the things I've had a while, I've decided to donate to a charity shop. And then I went through my yarn stock and did some tidy up and sorted out some yarn to donate to charity that I know I will never use. And it is yarn that I bought, not gifts from friends. As far as Amagurumi Wars go, I've got about three projects on the go and I would like to finish them all in March, but I don't think I will because one of them is quite hard on my hands. But that's it. I am gearing up to my first charity store. 
hopefully next Sunday will like Saturday was beautiful and sunny here and then this today is has done nothing but continually heavy rain there will be localized flooding tomorrow no doubt so let's hope next Sunday Saturday gets the rain and Sunday is nice and sunny and we make lots of sales and money for Emma's quest so this video will probably get uploaded uploaded quite late probably appears Monday morning my time but that's just the way it is sometimes life gets in the way but I can always craft when it's raining especially when everything else is done and tonight Reeves cooked so I had the night off from cooking I don't think I'll cook for another week he was pretty stressed tonight he was a bit ambitious but it still tastes good anyway until next time stay safe stay well and have a cup of tea with me one day. Bye for now.